Hey guys, welcome to another ranking video. And today I'm ranking all 10 of the Illumination Entertainment movies. So their company is about like a decade old, I think. And I'm going to rank all their movies. So, but before I get started, please like and subscribe. And to this channel, leave a comment in the discussion. And let me know what is your favorite. And, and tell me your ranking of the Elimination movies. Which ones do you love? Which ones do you hate? And which ones are kind of in between? Before we get started, I just want to give you my thoughts on their company. Yeah, so... This might be an unpopular opinion, but I actually like their company. I, I think their movies are kind of underappreciated. And I think they're very entertaining. And it's okay if you dislike them, but that's just my personal. It's just my silly personal opinion. With all that said, let's get started talking about the all 10 elimination movies. Coming in last place is going to be. Be a movie that is a lot different than what Illumination has done. Because this one is not an animated movie, but rather a stupid live action CGI hybrid. And that will be Hop. Hop is a very generic, very e unfunny movie. E James Marsden is in this movie, which makes it an. an he was just in the Sonic movie, and they feel remotely similar. And our lead character is played by an actor who plays another character in an Illumination movie. I'm talking about Dr. Nefario. Oh, and this movie is about the character named E.B. who's going to be the Easter Bunny. And it's just so stupid and stuff. But he wants to be a drummer and everything. And he poops jelly beans and stuff. And there's evil chickens or chicks in this movie. No, that sounds weird. Yeah, like yellow chicks. And, 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 I, and I think one of them is voiced by the guy who plays Gargamel in the live action Smurf movies. So, overall, well, this is not a good movie. Planet number nine is going to be the Lorax. Um, this movie is so mediocre. I mean, that was a very weak story with a predictable, with a, a very weak, unfunny, and predictable story. The animation does look good. I mean, it's highly colorful and stuff. It's about this world that's made all about all of plastic, I think. But all the characters are generic. <laughs> this movie ruined the one slur. And O'Hare is tied with Shannon from Despicable Me 2 as the worst elimination character ever. Or this movie is just so mediocre, and I can't really like this movie that much. So, skip the Lord. Well, no, you don't have you you don't watch it, but yeah, that's just my silly opinion. Coming at number eight is going to be the Secret Life of Pets. Two, um, this one, this movie, I feel like, is just kind of av as average as you can get. I mean, and it's tries to be three mini movies, and they all come together at the end. And it does doesn't, and none of the stories are interest are remotely interesting. And also, Max, and Pat Oswalt does a good job, but Max, I can't really like Max in this one. He's very really affected. The animation is nothing new from the company. I've seen this animation before. But it is good animation, but it's just unoriginal. Um, the characters aren't as good as they were in the first movie. The characters are enjoyable in this one. And, well, they're still kind of enjoyable here, but especially Captain Snowball. And Harrison Ford is in this movie. But overall, and, and this movie is also very short. Maybe if it was a little longer, it could have worked, but it's just too short. But overall, this movie is just as average as you can get. Man, number seven is going to be... Seven? Is this one? Yes. Number seven is going to be... 
this is the this is one out of two on popular opinions, but same. Um, I like this movie. Yeah, I mean, if I if I was on like Rotten Tomatoes or Metacritic or whatever, I'd submit a positive review. But one, the story is very predictable from top to bottom. The animation just nothing new really. It doesn't know what character to focus on. And they focus on 12 million characters. And there's not even any original songs in this movie. They're just, they just cover random modern pop songs. And, and there's the scene where bunnies cover Nicki Minaj. And it's just so cringeworthy and disgusting. I mean, but I still think Sing is a good movie. Oh, yeah. Coming out number six is going to be the, the first sequel of the Pets movie. This would be a lot lower because it's just Toy Story, but with animals, nothing remotely spectacular about Smooth. But the animation does look nice. The New York City skate looks good, and the characters are enjoyable and funny. But it's just Toy Story. It's literally Toy Story. That's why I can't rank it higher than this, because it's basically just Toy Story with pets. I think we're entering top five territory. Yes, we're entering top five territory. Number five is The Grinch. I like this movie, but it, it, it definitely feels like Despicable Me, but with The Grinch. The man in the batch does a fine job in the role. The animation is very colorful and vibrant. But uh, it has a weak story, and it's, it's very predictable, and, and some of the characters didn't really land for me yeah, either, so. But it does kind of stay true to the original source. I still kind of feel it's a little better than the Jim Carrey one. And so, yeah. Number four is probably even more of an unpopular opinion as... Number seven. Number four is the Minions movie. The first Minions movie. I'm gonna get so much hate for this pick. But I actually like this movie a little bit. I mean, yes, there's not really a story. And, but I think the Minions are likable characters. A lot of people find them annoying and unfunny. I think they're funny. I mean, I like them. And also the animation does look good. I love the cameos from Gru and Dr. Nefario. Oh, that that's really cool. Oh, and there's even a cameo from Gru's dog. That's also neat. Um, hopefully we'll get more cameos in Rise of Gru. Ooh, that, that, that comes out in July of next year. Yeah. And I don't think that really looks bad. Overall, this one is good. I like it. It's probably like a 7 out of 10 for me. Scarlet Overkill and Herb Overkill are a little over the top for me, but eh, they work. Top three is an easy top three. Number three is oh, also Despicable Me three is number three. This and the Minions movie are very stupid movies and they're dumb, <laughs> but I don't really think they're bad. I mean, and Drew didn't annoy me the slightest. I thought Bowser Brat was a little bit of a repeat of Vector from the first movie. But I kind of found him an enjoyable, like, little 80s villain. And also, I like the story with Gru's, like, brother and stuff. Well, the story can be a little bit predictable, and the side plot of the minions is kind of pointless. It's, and the girls don't have much to do. Well, it's just, a, it, I feel like it's in a very enjoyable movie. Our runner up is Despicable Me 2. Um. This is a very good sequel to the first movie. And this is the first time we saw Lucy. Oh, and, and also, El Macho is probably my favorite Illumination villain. And I thought he was very enjoyable. Well, to see and stuff. And the minions were funny in this one. And the girls were great as well. Oh, this one's good. Oh, I didn't mention the Spoken Money 3. There's an Empire Strikes Back. Um, reference, I'm not gonna tell you it, it, but, but, there is an Empire Strikes Back reference. I mean, at first place is the first Despicable Me movie. 
I think their first movie is still kind of their best one. I mean, this movie is so good. I, I feel like maybe, the story is enjoyable. The animation is the animation is a little dated for its time, but I think it does look pretty good. This is our introduction to an adult group. I was gonna say our introduction to group, but that's not our introduction to group chronologically in the timeline inside the movies. This is our introduction to adult group. And overall, this movie I think has great characters. The minions were very funny in this one. And over so overall, that's why this movie comes in at number one. So that is my ranking of all ten of the Illumination movies. Thanks so much for watching this video. So, Comment in the discussion section and tell me your rankings of the Illumination movies from worst to best. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.